Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Sets and Bees. In today's video, I will be making a healing salt uh, specifically for psoriasis. Uh, if you don't know, um, I have suffered uh, from psoriasis uh, for about 40 years now. Um, I have chronic psoriasis. Uh, most of the time, I am broken out about, I want to say, I don't know, 70% to 90% of my body. I've been lucky that uh, my neck and my face don't really get broken out. Don't let anybody fool you. Psoriasis does not heal. You can only treat it for the rest of your life. This bath salt is not going to cure your psoriasis or take it away or... What, it, what I found that it does is it relieves the the symptoms of psoriasis. Sometimes psoriasis can be super itchy or your skin cracks and it literally hurts. Uh, so when you soak um, in, these, in this bath salt uh, recipe for about 20 minutes, um, it does uh, alleviate the symptoms a lot. And sometimes I do notice that um, my scales um, start getting a little smoother if I do it you know, at least three times a week. You don't wanna be in the water for too long if you have psoriasis. So don't do it for more than 20, 30 minutes. Um, so, what am I using here? Uh, the main part of this recipe is dead sea salt. I really like um, dead sea salt because it provides antiseptic treatments, it, it hydrates your skin. It feels really good on the, on the, on the plaques. Uh, so I actually enjoy, I really enjoy this brand. I've tried several different brands, but I find that this one um, is pretty nice. Then um, I'm using uh, Epsom salt. Epsom salt, I wouldn't say helps with my psoriasis per se, but it does help me relax. Um, if I've been you know, working out or working in the yard a lot, the magnesium sulfate really, really relaxes uh, the muscles, thus relaxing your body, thus relax and also relaxing your mood, which helps your psoriasis. Um, the worst enemy of psoriasis is stress. So this is really good for that. And now for my favorite one, uh, it's collodial oatmeal. Make sure that you're using collodial oatmeal and not the oatmeal that you buy at the grocery store. I used to use the other uh, oatmeal, but it just really, it sinks to the bottom, so you're not really getting the benefits of it. This one sim seems to disperse through the, throughout the water and just floats around. Uh, oatmeal will not dissolve, so, but, it, but you'll see it, it makes the, the water softer. Um, this is so good for um, psoriasis and it, it really helps. Now, I do wanna say that I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a nurse. Um, but I am a psoriasis sufferer for 40 years. Uh, I've also read a lot on eczema, and I know that um, during my research for eczema, it is not recommended for folks to take baths. So some, that's something that you wanna talk to your doctor or just do some research. So unfortunately, I'm only recommending this for psoriasis. Other things that I uh, wanna also share with you all, if, if you know somebody or or you, or you are someone that has psoriasis. Um, these are the medications that I feel are great. Um, I don't take any biologicals. I did that for about 10 years. Um, I, the benefits were just not worth the risk. It really suppresses your immune system and messes up your liver, um, especially with the pandemic that's going on right now. The last thing anybody wants is to suppress their immune system. But the things that I found that really work for me is this ointment. Sacrolimus ointment, 0.1%, and this does not have steroids, um, so you can put it on your face or your breast area or your arms or inside your thighs, you know, ar areas that you're not able to use steroids on. Um, it is $900, so um, talk to your doctor about it and see how much your insurance covers. Uh, I'm pretty blessed. I only pay about $5 after my insurance, but um, it is a very expensive ointment. And um, it's not that big. Um, so if you have psoriasis all over your body, uh, this can only go <laughs> so far. Um, but I like to use this when I take a break from this. Um, 
or in between I use just regular uh, lotion as well now this stuff is amazing but it is steroids uh, clobetazole propionate spray I'm not even going to attempt to I, I just call it Clovex uh, it's 0.05% this is a spray and it does go a long way um, one will last me a while and I don't use it that much because it is steroids and it thins out your skin but it works wonders um, for your psoriasis so it comes with this little spray and you just spray it on um, I'm going to show you if you look at my skin here you can see where I was uh, really broken out I was going through a flare-up um, and so I just started putting spray on for I want to say like three four days and then I just started um, using this and of course your best friend is always going to be the Sun um, if, you, if you're not in an area where there's a lot of Sun um, or you feel that you're not getting enough UVB you don't want to get UVA um, if you have psoriasis you know pretty much what parts of the Sun you should be using um, you can also always get a UVB box uh, that you can have at home that, uh, and I put all those links in the description box below okay so let's go make it okay so um, here I'm going to add uh, dead sea salt I like this one because it doesn't get hard or anything so you know, it doesn't create those those balls um, so I'll, I'll link to where I get this one so this is majority of our recipe now I'm going to add Epsom salt see how it clumps up Plump. I couldn't remember that word see how it clumps up um, just break it down and now I'm going to add a quarter cup of um, collodial oatmeal and you know with this recipe you don't have to be precise in measurements um, so you know just just what you like break down all the clumps I mean you could run the collodial oatmeal through a sieve but I did it and I should have again it's no big deal I mean there's really no exact way to make this is you know how you like it and I know this looks kind of boring so if you just want to make it a little bit prettier you can add some uh, Himalayan salt that's pretty thick and this is not going to do anything to it it's just just for aesthetics let's say it makes it look prettier so normally um, when I take a bath um, I don't prepare all this stuff because you know I've been doing this for so long um, but in my bath I'll put half a cup of Epsom salt I have a really big tub too uh, a full cup of dead sea salt and I'll just grab like a little pinch of collodial oats and just throw it in there um, today I'm making it because I thought it'd be nice just to have it all ready when I'm feeling lazy now I'm not adding any oils or anything um, I like it like this um, uh, it really works great for my psoriasis so if you are going to be adding some kind of essential oils or uh, other oils I suggest that you put it on a on a cookie sheet and let it dry overnight before you put it in your container uh, because I didn't add anything I can go ahead and pack it now and that's just so it doesn't clump up or get hard now I have this cute little bottle I have this cute little container I got at the dollar store um, so just put that in I have a pack of uh, freshness packs again so it doesn't clump up um, you don't have to buy a pack of these you can just you know when you buy something and they bring it in the package to save it okay, so let me see if I can put it in here I'm 
Okay. Once I had some left over, I'm going to use that for my bath today. And then I have this little scoop that I got on Amazon. Uh, you can use, depending on how your skin is doing, um, if I'm really uh, going through a flare-up, I'll use this much, honestly. Or a cup of uh, sea salt, dead sea salt, and half a cup, half a, half a cup, Epsom salt, and, and a little bit of uh, colloidal oats. If I'm not going through a huge flare-up, um, you can throw in like four of these, these little scoops. It looks really cute, I think. There you have it. We just made some bath salts for psoriasis. Thank you for watching. See you next time.